and welcome back. I'm Mark Richard Adams, post-production professional, and today I want to do a hopefully a, a pretty quick video based on multi-track QuickTime uh, ProRes export. When you want to export a QuickTime movie in the codec of ProRes, let's say 422, and but for the channels to be multi-channel, so not just a stereo pair one and two going out, so three and four, five and six. Um, I do this a lot in the professional world, so I supply clients with. Uh, ProRes HQ Masters, but with multi-channel stems, okay? Uh, this is quite handy for having all of your stems in one file. This is the way that I would go about it. So I'm going to jump into Premiere. I've got a sequence here. Now this sequence isn't um, in the right form necessarily. Um, some of my channels are, are not quite how I want them at the moment. Uh, but if we just go back and find a way of um, creating this new sequence, and you'll need to create a new sequence actually. File, new, new sequence, and when we jump in here, we need to jump over into settings and go to custom. If I just flick that off for a moment, go back up to custom, um, and we can see all the settings have changed. Now this is a 1920 by 1080 sequence. Uh, it's square pixel normally. Uh, my program is going to be a progressive, so no fields. It is 25 frames per second. This is a UK after all, so we. Use 25 here, it's Rec 709, of course, 48 hertz sample rate, and there's the codec. Okay, so I'm happy with that. That's the vision setup, but ultimately, it's the tracks I want to look at. Let's have a look at these tracks. Now, we've got four as default here, um, but let's just delete all of these and start again. Now, normally, when you open this up, it probably says something like stereo. Um, we don't want stereo, so let's go to this drop down menu and hit multi channel, and now. The channels are interesting here now on my particular sequence I've got six channels, six mono channels uh, which theoretically could be if I pan them three stereo pairs. So I need to make sure that I have enough six okay and if I then add my six channels and you can see they're all coming in mono you can actually change these but mono is what I want okay in this multi-channel setup and of course you need to pan so audio one always goes to the left Channel 2 goes to the right. It's sort of fudging the whole stereo thing in a mono mono setup at the moment. So this is all looking good. Uh, then what we can do is save that preset. I'm going to call this HD 1080 25 multi chan. And then I'm going to say how many tracks? I'm going to say six. Okay, good. So that's saved now for another time we need to use it. And there it is, populated there. Click on that, open it up, <clears throat> and we get this fresh sequence. Uh, okay, so we've got a zero zero timeline. Obviously, we're in the UK. It doesn't work that way in the UK. Um, we generally start our programs 10 hundred hours. Okay, um, you don't necessarily need to do that where you are, but I like to keep it ordered. If we go to the multi-channel sequence now, now this is the sequence that I want to export multi-chan. So I'm just gonna Command A and highlight all and command C to copy and I'm just going to jump over to this new sequence and copy and paste it in. Okay so we've got everything now in the right place. Good, happy with that. Um, so our, our audio has been mapped to the relevant channels that we want to use. Let's of course just rename the sequence. Let me call this multi -channel. I'll call it a little bit something a little bit more obvious than that but that's fine for my demo today. So if we play it through We've got our channels, which are sort of now uh, splayed across six. So it's all sounding a bit weird. Um, what we need to do now is, of course, go into the, uh, the channel mixer. Now, if we look at the channel mixer here, okay, we have um, channels one. Let's see if we can just get that now. It's mapped to one and two. Two is mapped to one and two. They're all mapped to one and two, look. Now we need to change that. So. You click on this little icon here and you can actually choose the mapping and go to three and four if we want to. So channels one and two, I'm happy, okay? Even though there's a the sync is actually only on channel one. That's fine. Um, now if we go to channels three and four, now you can see three and four here, we've actually got some a little sting coming in. And down here a little sting coming out. So I want those separate. Um, I'm gonna hit on the channels and now I'm gonna select three and four, turn off channel one. And I'm going to do the same thing here. So you can now see one and two, one and two, three and four, three and four, and five and six. We need to do the same. So I want those to go to five and six. So this is just 
you know, we're just telling it where to go and giving it a roadmap of where to go. So we have channel one is going to one, two, three and four, we're going to three and four, five and six, we're going to five and six. Good, okay. Now if we go to the beginning of the sequence, I'll just export the top, the, you know, the top minute or so here, that's fine. Okay, and let's just jump into our sequence, multi-channel six, file, export media, and the format is QuickTime, that's correct, but we actually want the codec to be ProRes 422, good. And you can see all of our options here, which is looking good. Now, the one to be aware of is the audio. If we go down, you can see that at the minute, we have just the stereo of one and two coming out, nothing more. So we need to make sure that we add in two more channels. Okay, now we need to, of course, change them to stereo because they're gonna be coming out of stereo. So we have channels one coming out as a stereo, going to one and two. We have channels two, going out of stereo going to three and four, channels three going out of stereo going to five and six. Okay, now the only difference is that, of course, channels two, um, three and four and five and six are stereo because they're stereo music, but split across mono channels. Um, the channel one, we could actually change to two channels, okay? So we can keep them independent. So the panning would stay the same. So the panning of channel one, of course, channel one here, it's on the left channel, so that's panned to the left. Channel two, there's nothing on it, so that's the way I sort of want it on this one, okay? Now, if you're happy with that, let's now just choose a location. I'm just gonna whack this on the desktop. I wouldn't normally do that. And call it test channel on the desktop and go and export. Okay, let's let that go through and we're done. So let's have a look at that file. There we go, test chan. Here's the multi channel. Okay, we're not really going to be able to tell in this quick time what's going on, okay? But let's just have a little look at the movie inspector. And we can see that we've got some stereo, some channels that were here, but we need to go back into Premiere to actually have a quick look at what's really going on. Go into Premiere, and inside here, I'm just going to go new bin. I'm just going to this test file and import and there it is import it in okay and we have now our file which is exactly what we want and if we drag that onto the sequence this particular clip so we now have our splits and if we together to the beginning let's play that through Stereo on three and four. Music. Excellent. And there's a bit of a clearer view actually in this multi in this uh, clip mixer. Let's just go back and have a quick look at that again. There we go. You can see stereo there, and look, there's the two channel, but the sync is staying on the left hand side. Good. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, I hope you found that's really useful actually. Um, it saved my life a few times, being able to export um, two clients multi-chan and obviously multiple, multiple channels too, more than just um, three stereo file uh, channels. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, and if you'd like to see more videos from me, subscribe. Uh, put a note in the chat and just tell me what you'd like to see. Um, great, thanks very much.